Okay, my name is Natalie Maharaj. I'm a physician assistant student at Seton Hill University. We found out that music, um, the correct music, if you're listening to the right stuff, can actually cause an increase in some of the neurotransmitters and chemicals in your brain, such as serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and your endorphins. Uh, serotonin is involved in regulation of your sleep, moods, and appetite. Endorphins reduces the sensation of pain, and it also affects your emotions. Norepinephrine can affect your mood stability, plays a role in your attention as well as the sleep cycles, and it is also involved in your flight or fight response. And dopamine also helps to regulate emotion, mood, sleep, attention, and motivation. Any music that is soothing to you can help to increase these chemicals and make you feel better. But some of the ones that they have found to work um, to increase serotonin, classical music can do that. Um, people like Beethoven, Bach, some of their music can help. Um, virtually all folk music can increase your serotonin levels as well as jazz music. Some rock and roll can do it and different types of musical theater as well. Songs that will increase your norepinephrine and dopamine, once again, Classical music can help to increase those levels, as well as most rock and roll. Um, a good example there is going to be Bruce Springsteen's song, Born to Run, and jazz can also help to do that. So what we noticed is, you know, once you just sort of find what works for you, you can create a playlist, because what works for one person is, can cause a completely different reaction in someone else. Our neurotransmitters are a chemical in your brain or that helps brain cells and nerve cells to communicate with each other. And then hormones are something released by different um, organs in your body. If you have a piece of art that you find beautiful, gazing at that can also increase some of the can increase the blood flow to your brain by up to 10%. And this sort of has the same effect as if you're looking at someone that you love. And um, so it'll increase your dopamine levels and then creating art yourself can increase dopamine and serotonin levels as well. Come out to groups on Monday and do some art and music with us. <laughs>